Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Here in the Mockmander camp, also so in front of Barles, um, where we have the next rank up. And last time, Gulen Bursty sounded disappointed with our statue. And Moxen seemed disappointed with his reaction. So, Master Moxen looks like he has something urgent to share with you. Desiree, I'm glad you're here, Kubo. There's a matter I've been meaning to discuss with everyone since Golden Bursty's departure, and now's as good a time as any. Alright. We are all gathered, it would seem. Now, my dear Moxen, what was it you. Oh, I see you have summoned all day as well. Very good, very good. Maxin, I was just admiring our craftsmanship, an accomplishment to be proud of, certainly. Now, what was it you wanted? Are we to help plan the celebration? The celebration? No, yes. Now that the statue is complete, there is naught to do but ensure the statue stays polished. It is time for a de well deserved rest. Do you not agree, my dear Moxin? No, no, not at all, Kupo. With all due respect, Harrison, our work is far from complete. I believe you know this already. You were there when Gullen Bursty saw the statue. I was there as well, Moxon. Did Gullen Bursty not want us leave to remain in Barley? We could have not asked for more. Mokek and Mokmul have already begun preparations for a feast. You need to look past his words all day. Didn't you find his reaction strange? He seemed thoroughly unimpressed by our efforts. Something is amiss, I'm certain. We? No. I? cannot be content to leave the statue in its current state. I'll not rest until it's perfect. Not only in Golem Bursty's eyes, but in mine as well. <laughs> well said, my dear Moxen, well said. I knew you would not be satisfied with mediocrity. Truly, your growth as a crafter has been not short of astonishing. You are truly an inspiration. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you. So that means you agree with me, yes? Then, as we have many times before, let's work together to find out what's wrong. We've already come this far, just a little bit further, and we can enjoy the satisfaction of seeing our work complete at last. But how are we to know where the fault lies? The possibilities are endless. Well, I believe we did well by casting Dragon and Man as a subject. Perhaps the composition of the figures was not to his liking. If he had made such a fundamental error, I doubt he would suffer the statue to remain. Now it must be something else. Something we're not seeing. Let us take a different tack and ask ourselves why Gullen Bursty demanded the statue to be built in the first place. Why was it so important to him? I had wondered it myself. I know little of Gullen Bursty besides the fact that he's much older than brother. He's quite reclusive, although I've been told he was not always that way. Hmm. We only know him by his demands. Although surely there are other dragons that are friendly with him? Perhaps they could offer insight into his motives? Perhaps. It might serve us best to speak with the other ancient dragons. Are there any you could introduce us to, old dame? Of course. There's better fallen here. Do I happen to count among my many friends? Perhaps we could also try visiting Bidofnia, but I'm not certain she would grant us audience. I can do that. You are friends with Bidofnia? Why, you're just full of surprises, Kupo. Our next step is settled. Desiree, allow me to accompany you to the surface and speak with Bidofnia. Master Tarrison, all day, visit Vedofolnia and find out if he knows anything about Golem Bursty. Let us meet back here to share our findings. Until then. Okay, then let's visit the Dothnir in Annex Trine.
Well met, warrior of warriors. What brings you and yours to Annex Shrine today? Gunin Bursi. Yes, I know him. For many moons did he labor to build the very plaza you now endeavor to repair. Gunin Bursi had to build ballets. Then why would he raise it to the ground? For brothers robbed of a mother's love. This was bitter reminder and testament to man's ancient sin of what a Tosca sacrificed upon the altar of mortal greed. Old wounds are slow to heal, and mayhap his discontent is rooted in the past. Look at the plaza's ruins if you would know more. But all that's left of old ballets are the piles of... Wait, that's it, Kubo? There's a way we need to go back at once. There may be remains in the rubble we've cleared, and perhaps they will provide a clue we seek. Bedofnion, you have my sincerest thanks for your counsel. Fine assistance is not lightly considered, warrior of warriors. Ah, oh, this is where we go. At the dungeon, I mean. No. Can we turn? Have you come to help us sort through the rubble? We do our utmost to repurpose the stones we unearth, but some are not suitable, and so we pile them here. I suppose we should take a, should have taken a closer look. Here's where we keep the stones that are unfit for reuse, Kubo. All dead, Tarrison? Are you looking for remnants of the old plaza too? Indeed we are. But Alphonia only offered as much information as he deemed necessary. A quality that comes with age. It was clear, however, that the pieces of old ballets may hold the answer we seek. Yet much the same experience. Well, there's nothing for it but to dig, 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 Kubo. Dig through a heap of rubble, but find nothing that could be of use. I found something. And something else. Any luck? I found nothing but old rocks, Kubo. A stone fragment found among the rubble of Barles. The one lettering may have once formed a message, but it's impossible to tell with this fragment alone. What is this? This, this looks like the writing of a landlord, Scoopo. Alas, I can't read it. What does it say, Desiree? There's your search. Have you found aught that might be of use? Tarrison, look, Desiree found these fragments engraved with what looks to be the script of a landlord. Brilliant. Let me have a look. All day and I'm for several similar uh, fragments, but for the life of me, I cannot make out their meaning. Perhaps they're but the small pieces of a larger whole. Let's see, like this, or this, and the elements have not been kind to these stones. I can scarce tell if the letters are upside down or right side up. Stop fooling around. What does it say? What does it say? Do not rush me all day. I must focus. Here, I think I have it. Unity and brotherhood, now and forevermore. Marinch de Fort Shaw, Mogon, Gulen Bursty. A man, a Mughal, and a dragon. Doubtless they were the architects of this place. You mean more than a thousand years ago, when there lived a Mughal crafter, just like Moxin? It appears the plaza, the sense of past and present, have more in common than we thought. 
So it was this tablet which was truly important to Gullen Bursty. Indeed. To him the statue was more than a monument of friendship and peace. It was a monument to his friendships as well. And so we shall make it our duty to restore this tablet. Come on, it's time to put chisels to stone. For sure, if my memory is not mistaken in the name. Uh, well, when we have finished, I believe some research will be in order. I never took Gullen Bursty for the sentimental sort. Anyway, I will try to convince him to return by the time we have finished. I look forward to seeing the reconstructed tablet. The Mockmaner's first commission will soon be complete. That is, if you would entertain one final request. The letters must be darkened with ink, so they might withstand the corroding elements for many years to come. I would task you with making that ink. Lastly, I would like to thank you for your support, not only on behalf of the Mockmenders, but all the Mockhorn Moogles. If not for you and Tarazan, Barless would still be nothing but dust and rubble. Once more, we trust in your steady hand. I know you will impress. Mokmo will give you any supplies you need. Once your masterpiece is finished and handed to Tarrison, we can complete our work. What will I do, you ask? Let's just say I have one final trick to play. A parting trick, if you will. I'll be getting it ready while you do your crafting. That look in your eyes. You can't wait to find out what it is, can you? Why not? I assure you it will be my best one yet. Okay, Mokmu and Mokbelly. Mokzin's been by and told me to expect you, Kubo. Take anything you want, anything. Once you're finished, I can finally eat. Okay. Tablet supplies. Have you completed Mox's request? I to think this may be the last time I gaze upon your work. It has been an honor, my friend. I must say, the quality of your craftsmanship has always been reliable. Come, let us call the Mockmenders. At last, Gullen Bursley will acknowledge the depth of our skill. Preparations for our trick are complete, Kupo. All we have left to do now is attach a tablet. Unity and brotherhood, now and forevermore. Moxen, Desiree, Tarrison, All Day, Marwinch de Shaw, Morgan, Gullen Bursty.
they are for the old days, I insist that I come. I pray it is worth my time. Finished building. I remember Morgan's indignant protests. Raise the Mughal statue. You make me so mad, Kubo. And so on. <laughs> it would seem his wish is now fulfilled. I take it everything meets it with your satisfaction? Even the Mughal statue? Das, you have my blessings and my thanks. I shall keep the skies of Barless safe to prove my words true. Did you hear that, Kubo? Gotten bursty approves! Gotten bursty approves! Finally! Through will, determination, and perseverance, the Mockmaners have completed their first major project. Your reputations increase to a swarm. You will receive additional experience. You have also have access to a wider selection of wares. You have learned the emote Moogle Dance. That was the one um, Hildev and the other Temple Knights just showed. Well, the Moogles too, but it's harder to see it with them. But there is one more rank up here. Um, this is, as far as I remember, a very short one, so I will just cut it at the end of this episode. Palace may be looking as splendid as the day it was first built, but we cannot rest on our laurels. We must look forward to the repair of Zenith, which we thought was proved to be a much more challenging undertaking. I believe the Mockmen are more than equal to the task, however. And before long, perhaps men will once again offer prayers in Zenith's hallowed halls. If ever you find yourself itching for work, remember that we shall always welcome you with open arms. <laughs> I can't believe you managed to make the plaza even more glorious. Truly, it me with pride to think that I had a part in this. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> this was a tr his trick, right? The Mugu statue here in the base of a statue. <laughs> I suppose there's time for work and a time for rest, Kupo. Perhaps I was working too much before. Maybe I take a nap until we begin repairing Zenith. Yes, a nice long nap. Seeing Golden Bursky smile as he looked upon the fountain made us realize the true worth of the work we do here. I think I speak for all of us when I say we shall see the restoration of Zenith through to the very end, regardless of the obstacles that may bar our path forward. Yeah, oh, it will also probably take quite a while to repair that place, given how huge Zenith is and how heavily damaged. Okay, um, I remember how Barless started, looked at the start. As I said, uh. I continue the next the, the next step in a moment until then. Alright, finally, um 
The next and I believe last rank up removal. Yeah, a bit of a short one. That's way everyone's been asking for you, Cooper. We'd better speak with all day and Master Tyrison to see what they want. Tyrison, what's up? There you are, Desiree. Do not look so tense, my friend. For once, we have no concern on our difficulties repairing the plaza. On the contrary, I simply wish to offer you my sincerest gratitude for your help thus far. You have given this old man a meaningful way to spend his days. And thanks to the efforts of all and sundry, I have captured a piece of my family's history. Yes, my family. For although House Desma is now renowned for its skill at stonemasonry, that was not always the case. No, as recently as three centuries ago, we were but humble crafters. It was not until a lord of House Desma married the daughter of a minor lord, whose house was known for its deep knowledge of architecture, that the first brick of our renown was laid. That maiden's family name was Foreshort. A name which rings familiar, yes? One of the three original architects of Barles, Maringe de Foreshort. His blood curses through the veins of every son and daughter of House Desmael, and his teachings have enriched our lives. To think that, after more than a thousand years, ancestors and descendants would be joined by the same work of art. Mamiya must surely be smirking at her own cleverness. Regardless, I'm grateful for whatever whims of faith that have led me here to this moment. But enough of sentimentality. I've come to a decision. Until the day I draw my last breath, I shall continue on here and guide the Mockmenders. Of course, you're always welcome should you wish to offer a helping hand. And all day? Desiree, greetings. Quite an impressive work, wouldn't you agree? When Moxon first told me about Barles, I was sure nothing would ever get done. I certainly never dreamed you. He would go so far as to receive Gulenberg's praise. If not for you and Harrison, Motsin would still be caught up in trying to avoid work. I thank you for keeping by his side through all of this, and I look forward to seeing what works Mokman has produced in the future. As for me, I have no pressing engagements for the next hundred years, after which I will go into hibernation. Other than, I plan on remaining here to help with a repair of Zenith. If you find yourself back here sometime, Within, within the next century, be sure to say hello. You're back, Kubo. Now that you've heard everyone else's thanks, it's my turn. Thank you. The Mokman still have much work ahead, and soon we'll begin repairing Zenith proper. No doubt we'll face difficulties that will make repairing this plaza look as simple as painting a pebble. But the experience we've gained here will see us through. The Mockminders will never forget how much you helped us, and we will forever remember the power of will, perseverance and determination. Of course, if you ever find yourself missing our company, or if you're just in the mood for some honest labour, we'll always welcome you among our ranks, Kippo. You achieved Bloodsworn reputation with the Mockminders. Furthermore, you receive additional experience, and that's it. That was the last step for the Mockmenders. We are done. Good, and with that, I end this episode. And until next time, when we play more Final Fantasy XIV, I am Ace, and don't get lost.